Hello, Halo's Gaming here, uh, bringing you guys another YouTube guide about EVE Online. Uh, today, I want to talk to you guys about boosters, uh, the side effects of using them, the uh, positive gains for using them, and uh, just basically the basics of it, a lot like the uh, clone video that we did. Uh, so it should be a really simple, easy to follow one uh, that kind of explains how boosters works and maybe dispels some of the common misconceptions about boosters that you may have had in the past. All right, so for skills on the uh, boosters, uh, we have three of them. Uh, they are biology, uh, which increases the duration of the boosters by 20% per skill level. So once trained to five, it doubles the duration. Most boosters last 30 minutes at base. So that means that with this trained, they're going to last for an hour. So we're talking more or less the combat boosters, not the cerebral accelerators, which are also doubled when you train this, which is fantastic. If you happen to be using them, I would really recommend training this to five, 100%. The second skill is gonna be neurotoxin recovery. And the description is somewhat vague. Uh, proficiency of biofeedback techniques intended to negate the side effects typically experienced upon injection of combat boosters. What this skill does is it has a 5% reduction per skill level to the chance of a negative side effect. So all the boosters above synth have a chance of giving you a side effect and we'll, we'll get into the side effects and, and how they work. Uh, but basically it means that you're less likely to incur the side effects that can happen from taking the boosters. And then the third one uh, is neurotoxin control. Uh, and this is proficiency at reducing the severity of the side effects experienced upon injection of combat boosters. Uh, this one uh, has a 5% reduction per skill level to the booster side effect potency. So that means when you actually consume the booster uh, and you get the, the penalty itself, you're going to receive a mitigated effect. So instead of it being 35%, it'll be more like 25%. Uh, and it makes taking boosters a lot more viable, knowing that you can just kind of eat the eat the penalty sometimes. It's really helpful having this skill. Uh, if you plan on using boosters a lot, I would recommend training all three to five. However, training neuro, neuro, neurotoxin control and uh, neurotoxin recovery to four is sufficient. I know that these are difficult to train skills, especially the recovery one that mitigates the chance of it is a 1.2 million skill point skill. So it's kind of difficult. This one should definitely be trained to four. And if you plan on using boosters a lot, I, I, I would definitely train it to five. And then biology, if you ever use any kind of learning uh, booster, so all the cerebral accelerators, uh, it, anything that, that is beneficial for extending the time, this I would really recommend training to five. It's a really easy to skill to train as it is a 1x skill. Uh, so it only takes 256,000 skill points which I believe is just a week of training. I, I believe that that means it's an eight day skill. Alrighty, to locate and learn more about boosters, um, you're going to hit Alt plus R. I'm sorry, I was looking at these guys. Uh, you're gonna hit Alt plus R and open up your uh, market. You're gonna hit this little cog right here and make sure you check uh, or you uncheck show only available. This is a tip that I recommend for a lot of people to do for a lot of different reasons. Uh, but this will make uh, the market basically uh, an instantaneous Wikipedia of the game. Uh, we are going to locate implants and boosters, uh, which is on this line right here. And then boosters are all the boosters that we can select. There are four slots for boosters. So we have slot 11, uh, which is for the agency boosters, uh, Pyrolantia, Overclocker, and Hardshell. Uh, we have slot one, uh, which is generally tanking. Uh, so we have Blue Pill and Exile. And then Mind Flood is Capacitor. Uh, other, I believe, is Quape Zero. This uh, allows you to increase your speed. And then X Instinct is, I believe, it's Signature Radius. Uh, you get a uh, change on your Signature Radius, so it reduces your Signature Radius. Uh, and then in Slot, or anti pharmacon also has three of them as well. I don't remember which one's which, but these drugs are awesome uh, for different reasons. Uh, booster slot two is going to have uh, more anti-pharmacon, uh, Iocora. I believe I use Iocora frequently as it gives you extra tracking. It's pretty awesome. Um, Drop, which gives you additional tracking. Frentex, which gives you additional... Uh, I believe this one is the optimal range modifier. And then we have Soothsayer. 
uh, which gives you additional uh, fall off on your guns. And then slot three houses anti pharmacon uh, taxiot, uh, which can give you uh, missile flight time, which is range, or uh, crash, which gives you explosion velocity, I believe, or explosion radius. It'll reduce the explosion radius of your missiles. So I find crash to be pretty helpful uh, for a lot of things because it, it helps missiles. And then in slot 11, again, we have hard shell, overclocker, and pyrolancia. So consuming boosters is really easy. Uh, all you are going to do is you're going to uh, open up your cargo uh, wherever you happen to have the boosters. Uh, in this case, I have them here. And uh, you basically just right click it and consume it. Uh, it's, it's a consumable. Uh, so hard shell doesn't have a side effect and synth, uh, everything that is labeled as synth does not have a side effect. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to activate a, a, a consumable. Uh, you left click on it and you hit consume. That is it. And when you consume it, what will happen is you'll get a little notification if you have it enabled and then you'll get a little white thing here. This is actually perfect. I got the side effects. Uh, so I took the strong shield booster. It gave me an additional 30% shield boost because it's a strong. And then I got a shield capacity penalty of 22.5. But if we show info on this, the base stats for it is 30. And since I have that one skill train that we mentioned in the skills part, uh, trained to five, we have a 5% mitigation on uh, the penalty that we got per skill level. So I got a 20% mitigation, meaning, or no, it's 25% mitigation to it, meaning that instead of a 30% penalty on these attributes, I have a 22.5% penalty. Uh, and I got pretty much the worst possible roll that I could get. Even though I have all the skills trained, you can roll multiple side effects, uh, as well as you can roll no side effects at all. Uh, sometimes you, you win, you, you win some and you lose some with boosters. Uh, and that's just kind of the way it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a quick, easy way to uh, reset this uh, as well. Uh, but when you have the penalties, it kind of sucks because right now I have a capacitor penalty. My effective tanking is the same and I don't have uh, the ability to uh, apply as well because I got the explosion velocity uh, penalty as well. And I'm sitting in a golem, so that's really poor. Uh, but it is a gamble when you take a pill or when you consume a drug. However, this could save me. So say I was taking too much damage. Say I was in a fight and I, stay and I only had, say... 100 dps tank and i started taking 130 dps if i consume this pill while i'm taking 130 dps now i can actually survive that 130 dps that i'm taking uh, so this could be used to save you even though you incur the penalties it could save your ship you don't know anytime you clone jump uh die or uh clone jump uh or, or die your your boosters are cleared uh except for cerebral accelerators uh, so you can always clear your boosters if you don't like the side effects that you got you can go to a uh, a citadel uh, install clone where there's a clone bay and then jump to your empty clone and then jump back into the clone that you're in and you'll be in a nice fresh uh, clone or your 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 boosters will be cleared so in this case when I got bad side effects I can just go out to that and replace that uh, in my last video, I go into detail how to clone jump immediately without uh, taking on a penalty. But we would just go find a clone facility and reset that. I'm not going to do a demonstration. I think describing it should be good enough. Um, that's basically all there is to taking a booster. Uh, we do want to go over uh, consuming the really cool ones. So the, the really cool ones that you can get are the uh, Master at Arms... Uh, cerebral accelerators, which I get for using invite codes. Every time one of you guys uses my invite codes and ends up subscribing, I get four of these, and they're quite nifty. Uh, how they work is you consume them, uh, and they don't take up a booster slot, and when you die, and when you get potted, these don't get cleared. And uh, cerebral accelerators tend to increase your, uh, your statistics or your attributes to train faster. So I consume this one and I get plus 10 points for the next 48 hours. By base it's 24 and because I have biology trained to 5, uh, it's it's going to be 48 hours uh, that I'm going to get this. Uh, we can do some math to figure out exactly how many skill points it is. It's pretty nifty. I really enjoy eating these and I know this was a self-show, but it's, it's uh, something that exists. 
You can also purchase these uh, by going to Cerebral Accelerators and selecting Master at Arms. Uh, you can buy them. Uh, sometimes you can see the other ones in as well. Uh, and then occasionally during events or uh, for special rewards, you can get Cerebral Accelerators that accelerate uh, skill training. We find them in events quite often, uh, and they are pretty nifty to get. Uh, so I would recommend looking into those if you're looking to increase your skill training and you don't want to buy skill injectors. Uh, and you would want to do the math to figure out how many skill points you get for actually consuming it to figure out if it's worth it for you or not to eat the uh, Cerebral Accelerators. Uh, but I really do enjoy uh, eating them uh, as it gets me some more skill points. Uh, and then I encourage you guys to invite your friends using your invite code so you can get Master, Excel or Master at Arms Cerebral Accelerators yourself. So one common myth uh, about boosters in general uh, is that they are illegal in high sec or illegal in, in uh, low sec. Uh, back in the day, what happened is if you had dr or if you had boosters in your cargo, I almost said it and YouTube would demonetize this video. Um, they're boosters, guys. They're boosters. Uh, for the sake of this video, they're called boosters. You can call them whatever you want. You can comment that they're called whatever you want, but they're boosters. Um, what used to happen is when you had them in your cargo, uh, and a, uh, a, a state, whatever, uh, scanned your cargo. Cause they, they used to randomly scan your cargo when you went through gates. If you were caught with the boosters or the materials to build the boosters, uh, they would confiscate it and charge you what those boosters were worth on the market, uh, by like 10 X. So it could cost you something like 100 million S to get caught with them 20 million as boosters, which sucks. Uh, CCP has removed that. Uh, so now you're allowed to carry all boosters in all places of space without incurring penalties. So they're 100% okay to have in your cargo. Uh, that is one really common myth. Uh, so I do recommend uh, carrying them at least in ships that you care about that you really don't want to lose. I'd recommend carrying boosters for emergency situations. Uh, they're really useful in PVP. Uh, which is mostly out in Nullsec. Uh, and if you're you're flying a capital ship, you really need to be carrying a booster for whatever reason. Alrighty, so uh, synth boosters uh, never have side effects, uh, which is really nice. Uh, and they recently got buffed. Uh, most synth, synth boosters before gave 3%. Now they all give 6%. Uh, they got buffed to make them a little bit more usable in more situations. And it's just fantastic. Uh, straw, starting at standard, uh, you start getting side effects. Uh, the effect and side effect is, uh, the side effects for standard are 20%. Side effects for improved can be 25%. And side effects for strong can be up to 30%. Uh, so they kind of go up in percentage as you go up in, uh, the, uh, strength. And that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, gr greater risk, greater reward. Uh, is kind of how that goes. But as you go up, the side effects go go up, uh, and then the uh, bonus uh, also goes up. So uh, greater risk, greater reward. Synth is always side effect free, and then uh, standard, improved, and strong can incur side effects. So the chance of side effects also goes up with the, uh, the strength. So a strong, for example, uh, has a 30% or a 40% chance of side effect. A uh, improved has a 30% and a standard has a 20%. This is, again, mitigated by that one skill that we talked about by 5%. So a quick math example for the chance of side effect for standard would be we would take that 20%. We would multiply it by uh, 0.75. So we take 20 multiplied by 0.75. We end up with 15. Uh, so we actually have a 15% chance of a side effect. And you would repeat the math uh, for the others since we have it trained to 5. It's... 25%, uh, so you can multiply by 0.75 and get the end result. So if we take 0.4, uh, again, it, it's double, so the math is really easy. Uh, instead of a 40% chance, uh, the 25% the less than 40 is one quarter, we have a 30% chance of having a reduced side effect because we have the skill trained. That is why that skill is so important. Each side effect rolls itself individually, uh, independent of the others based on that chance. So every time I take a strong blue pill, for example, uh, I would roll uh, a 30% chance, do I get this penalty? A 30% chance, do I get this penalty? 30% chance, do I get this penalty? 30% chance, do I get this penalty? So as you can see, 
when the side effect chance goes up, uh, we are far more likely to get more because it, it, it's more rolls. So there are a few uh, boosters that uh, do not incur side effects, uh, and that is all the anti uh, anti pharmacin uh, never have side effects. Uh, Quaif never has side effects. Uh, at least I don't believe it does. Yeah, there's there's no side effects for Quaif. And then uh, the agency boosters also never have side effects. So those three different things: the anti pharmacin, Quaif. And uh, also the cere cerebral accelerators don't have uh, side effects, but also all the agency ones, the hard shell, overclocker, and pyrolancia also never have side effects. Uh, so that's always good to know which ones do and don't have side effects. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video on boosters. Not that D word that will get us demonetized. Um, or we'll call them demonetizers. Hold on, something funny. Uh, if, if, if you like this video, uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below. If you don't like this, make sure you dislike the video and explain why in the comments so that I can maybe improve the videos or make them better in the future. Uh, I I got inspired to make this. Uh, a, a person in Discord uh, was asking about it right after I made the clone video. I'm like, well, you know what I'm making next. So we made this one. Uh, I do want to say that you guys are fantastic watching these videos and offering me support uh, after putting out the video this morning. I got a lot of support uh, on the stream, even though I wasn't streaming EVE Online. Uh, you guys are absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's keep it up, guys. The cat's loving it. I'm loving it. Um, but again, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Do the things. Hit the buttons. Uh, make the comments. And I want to say thank you all. Uh, for watching to the end, if you're actually watching this bit, and you haven't just, you know, glossed over and, you know, given up. Uh, you guys are all absolutely awesome. Keep teaching each other things, keep bringing each other up, and make the gaming world a better place. And I will see you guys in the next one.